Hello friends. In this tutorial, let me show you how to fix some kinds of device driver issue. You can see for all this device driver, it's a yellow color sign over here. When I go to properties, and then I'm going to see it's a, the device cannot start some kind of code 10 error. Now what I'm going to do, let me close it. In the very beginning, just uh, give a right click on it and then scan for the hardware change. Right? Next thing, what are you going to do for any device driver? It is not only for this, for almost any device driver you install, if you are getting code 10 error and the yellow sun like this, you can follow the steps. So the first one is scan for the hardware change. Second one, disable and enable it back again. The second thing you need to do, still the problem exists, Third thing is, you can just uninstall and install the driver back again from wherever you have installed it. Some of the driver automatically, when you restart your PC, it will install. That is the default driver. Some of the driver that you have installed manually from outside, you can uninstall. And from wherever you have installed manually, you can install the manually back again. So this one was the third step. First step, second step, third step. The fourth step is update the driver. If you have a, some updated version of driver in your computer, you can browse manually and install, or you can just connect your PC to the internet and it, it will let it search automatically from the internet if it finds somewhere to update the driver. You can see that the base driver for your device is already installed. So what are you going to do? If like this, close it, still the problem not solved. Again, go to update driver, scan, All right, let it search. Okay, the base driver already installed. Now you can see at the bottom here you have search for the update driver on Windows Update. So click on this and this will take you to the Windows Update page. You can see I'm already updating right now, 73%. Some of our some are pending install. So let all it all of these install, and along with this, even your driver will be automatically updated. Our update will be installed along with the update of the window. Or manually, even you can go to the start icon, give a right click on it, and then go to setting. Once you click on setting, somewhere in setting, here you got update and security. So you can see, even you can update it manually now. So let it update, and then you want to restart your PC, and the issue should be solved. So this is the next and the final step you can follow. Or you might have to manually go to the search in your browser, download the base driver, manually check the device number or model number of a device for whichever device you are trying to download and install the driver, download the another driver and try to install. So most of the issue is fixed by restarting the PC, most of the issue and some of the issue is fixed by just updating the windows and along with the windows update driver is automatically updated and installed so let the windows get updated and then we're going to give a look if it is updating and installing now you can see all installed now it is asking for the restart so restart now you can see it is working on update okay guys once computer is restarted the driver must be working and it is supposed to be installed. In some cases, even after restarting your computer and updating your system, the driver issue still occurs. So all the steps in the video do not help you. Even after updating and restarting your PC, the problem not solved. What you're gonna do, you have to search for the another driver and try to install. And keep on trying, you want to look for another new version of driver or some other driver from some other wave on internet, you'll find a lots of driver. So download and try installing, it should be working. So try all these steps, I hope help all these steps to you guys, one of the steps will help you fix because it helped me when I just uh, updated the windows and try to install it. Uh, restarted my PC and it was working. So follow the steps if it really helps you. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe and comment. If I find the more solution, I'll update you with another video. Have a good day.